I'm going to rob a bank. Ha 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 ha. I'll need a disguise first. Dang it. I got a floating head. I think I found it. Perfect. Now to get a giant bag and head down to the bank. I'm gonna be rich for life. <laughs> this is a hold up. Put the money in the bag right now. Okay, okay. Don't shoot. You can have all the money. Just don't shoot me. Thank you, miss. What? It's locked. I need to get the teller again. Give me the key. No. You can't have any money. Give me the key to open the vault now or I shoot. Okay. Don't shoot. Here's the key. Thanks, lady. Ha 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 ha. Alright, the door is open. Now to go and get the spoils. Here it is. Now to grab it and get out of here. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> 911, what's your emergency? We need your help. Some lunatic kid in a skeleton costume robbed the Orchard Grove National Blank. I don't know who he is or what he looks like, but he's wearing a skeleton costume. Luckily, it's not Halloween, so we can easily track him down. Okay, mom, I got it. He's a kid in a skeleton costume. On it. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the news. And, this Justin, some kid in a skeleton costume has robbed the Orchard Grove National Bank. Police couldn't identify him yet, so they are out looking for him. We're now out here with the bank teller she she can explain what happened. So, Victoria, what exactly happened in there? Some child dressed in his skeleton costume was threatening to shoot me and demand money from here. Of course, I had to hand him the money, because he threatened to kill me. After he got away I called 911, and now the bank is under investigation. I'm now interviewing Officer Bruce Nelson about the empty vault. So Officer, did the perp leave anything behind? Well, not really. He just had a bag and then he ran away. There's no men left in this vault, but we will get it all back, and whomever did this will be in huge big fat poopy trouble and will go to jail for life. Thank you Coctoria and Officer Nelson. Now over to you, Neil. Oh no, someone robbed our bank. I hope they catch the robber and lock them in jail. Alright, I got the money. Now to go to Walmart and Target and buy anything I want. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get some Lego sets, Nerf guns, candy, video games, an Xbox Series X, some more PS5 games and more Xbox Series X games, and a huge TV, an iPhone 14 Pro, and lots of phone gadgets and accessories. Oh my god, someone robbed the Orchard Grove National Bank wearing a skeleton costume. Now all the money is gone. We need to catch who never did it and put the money back. And who would wear a skeleton costume to rob a bank? That's just stupid. I hope he or she gets caught. Even though they can't be identified, they must catch him somehow. Looks like break is over. I'm gonna get back to work now. Well, look at all these cool video games. I'm gonna take all the PS5 and Xbox Series X games right now. Okay, now to put these new iPhone 14 Pro Maxes in here for customers to buy. Well, that's a lot of awesome tech I just put in the card. I can't wait to use it later. I'm gonna get more stuff since I have lots of money now. Wait a minute, this child has too much stuff in his cart and it's all electronics and video games. That's gonna be really expensive for him. I think I got him now. 
He's the child who robbed the bank. I see a skeleton costume in his cart too and a big old sack of money. I need to come up with a plan to get him caught. Oh, I know. Hello, can I help you? Oh hi, I'm just looking around, don't need help thanks. Really, you look nervous. Where did you get all that money? This money? Oh, I got it from my grandparents. They're very rich and they love me so much that I got all this money. Let me help you. I can ring you up right here if you want. But I want more stuff. But it would be more expensive. Why don't I ring you up now and you can get all that stuff another time? No thanks. Aha, uh -huh. got you. You robbed the bank. What? No I didn't. Then what's that skeleton costume doing there? It's not a costume, it's a blanket. I don't believe you. Come here and let me see right now. No, you can't see what's in here. It's private. I saw a child on the news rob a bank and it might be you. Get over here right now. No, I'm out of here. Attention all Walmart associates, there is a bald child attempting to shoplift. And I saw on the news that he may have robbed a bank. Please lock the doors and corner him. Thank you. Oh no, the door is locked. Freeze. Don't move. We're gonna search you. You <laughs> Uh huh. It was you who robbed the bank and tried shoplifting all these goods. No, it wasn't. I can see the skeleton costume on your hands and all the money in your cart and all the goods you are attempting to shoplift. That's it. I'm calling the police right now. I will make pin you to the ground so you don't get away. And we're all cornering you and the door's locked so you have nowhere to go. You're busted. What? I'm going to jail, no. Hey now, Anderson. You're under arrest for robbing the bank, armed robbery, shoplifting, unlawful possession of a firearm, and a felony. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will count against you. What? Now I'm going to jail for a long, 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 long time. That's right. Come with me to the police car now. Washington, Arkansas. What? Shut up, Caillou. I'm not letting you go. You've done a few serious crimes, young man. How long will I be in jail for? 50 years. Right. Yeah. Let me out of here now. For the last time, Galu, I said no. This is your cell. You will be here for 50 years. You will get nasty jail food and you get no comfy bed, just plywood, and just a sink and toilet and no privacy or amenities whatsoever. Oh, and you have some visitors. Oh no, it's my daddy and mommy. That's right, Kalau. How dare you rob a bank and shoplift? That's it. You're grounded, 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 grounded for 50 years during your jail time. And also, you stole my gun, which is very dangerous. I can't believe you. That's it. I've had enough of you. You will stay here and learn your lesson on why robbing banks is not okay. Why did you even do this? Because I was bored and wanted so many things, so I had to go rob the bank to get stuff from Walmart, Target, and Amazon. You know that stealing is wrong. This is not acceptable behavior. If you were bored, you could have read a book or played outside. You're such an idiot. This is what you get for robbing the bank out of boredom. Now goodbye. Enjoy your stay, you brat. What? Hey, it's not fair. I was bored today and tried to do something cool, but I ended up in jail again. I might as well live here since I keep going to jail. You want to live here? Okay then. Now you will be here for life with no parole. Washington, hey, it's not fair. Hello everyone, tonight on Court of the News, and this just in, Kayla Anderson has robbed the Orchard Grove National Bank. He stole all of the money there which was $80 billion. He took his dad's hunting rifle and his skeleton costume and did threaten to shoot the teller if she didn't comply. After he robbed the bank, he went to Walmart to buy things of his choice, when worker Kylie Wilkinson caught him after she heard about him in the news. So we have no found out who robbed the bank. He also attempted to shoplift from Walmart. He is being charged with first degree armed robbery, unlawful possession of a firearm, shoplifting, and a felony. He was originally sentenced to prison for 50 years, but he had a sobbing fit that he said he might as well live there forever since he's a returning convict. So the warden made him stay there for life instead with no parole. We will now interview the teller of the bank he robbed about the incident. 
So Victoria, what exactly happened in there? Well, some young boy in a skeleton costume came up to me and pointed a rifle at me. I got so scared. He demanded me to put money in the bag, but I refused at first, but then he became more threatening, so I gave him the key to the safe. Then he stole all the money, then I called the police. And that's all I know. Thank you Victoria. Now we will interview Kylie Wilkinson about the incident. So Kylie, what did you do when Kalu tried to shoplift your store? Well, before my break ended, I saw a news article on my phone about a small boy robbing the bank. I then went back to work and almost immediately spotted a familiar boy carrying a skeleton suit, and his cart filled with things he wanted. I then knew right away that it was him, so I tried to confront him, but he ran away, so we locked the door and cornered and apprehended him until the police arrived. And Kayla, you're banned from here forever. You're way worse than the guy who tried cashing in a $1 million bill at Walmart. I hope you enjoy your stinky jail cell. Thank you Kylie. So Kayla will be in jail forever. He has been charged with first degree armed robbery, a felony, shoplifting, and unlawful possession of a firearm. Luckily, since store manager Kylie Wilkinson caught him, all the money he stole was recovered. Okay, over to you. Kayla. Yeah, he better stay in jail forever, and he better not be coming out. I can't believe he would do something like this. Luckily, all the money was recovered. This video is not meant to be taken seriously, therefore it's for entertainment purposes only, please do not do what Kayla did. This was also a fictional event.